You clicked on this video because you want to know the best AI niche for TikTok right now. This sort of content has exploded on TikTok recently and is earning people thousands. So no wonder you want to know the best niche. Don't worry, you're in the right place. Today I'll show you an insane new style of AI content that I'm sure you won't have seen before. And then I'll show you exactly how to create this content for yourself. The niche that I'll be covering today is the AI fantasy niche. Here's an example page. They've gained over 131,000 followers, and their videos all get millions of views. If you watch to the end, you'll know exactly how to generate content for this niche, so you can start raking in millions of views. Here's an example video, and then we'll jump into creating this content. guys don't click off and let's actually get to work now everything that we're going to be using will be in the google doc below real quick if you guys want help from me one-on-one -on -one, then join my school community and i'll help you go viral secondly if you're outside the creativity program regions then i have accounts for sale in this video's description okay guys let's get some video ideas to do this, head to ChatGPT, and I'll start by the AI to generate me content in the samurai niche. I'll leave this exact prompt in the Google Doc. You can ask the AI for many different fantasy niches if you want more ideas. As you can see, the AI has gone ahead and generated us a ton of scenes. All of mine contain Godzilla, so I'm actually going to ask the AI to include some scenes with just the samurai. As you can see, I've now been left with a list of different scenes that were eventually going to turn into animated images. Next, you want to ask the AI to turn every scene into a Leonardo AI image prompt. This will allow us to bring these images to life. So you want to head over to Leonardo AI using the link in the Google Doc. Once on here, head to the middle of the screen and hit image creation. Once you're on the site, the first thing you need to do is change the preset to Leonardo Phoenix. This is the best one, as it's the highest level of content. After you've set that up, scroll down and adjust the generation quality to the highest possible level. Lastly, set the image dimensions by hitting the more button and selecting the TikTok option. This will format the images specifically for TikTok's vertical video layout. Now go ahead and copy the first image prompt from ChatGPT, then paste it into Leonardo's prompt box. Click Generate and let the AI get to work on creating your first image. I'll skip ahead to when the first image is ready. Here's the first image. It looks fantastic, right? Now, repeat this process with the remaining prompts until you have all the visuals for your video, which helped elevate the look. I'll skip forward once more to show you the finished set of images. Now that we have all our visuals, and they look incredible, go ahead and head back to the image library on Leonardo. Once you're here, click on your first image. Once you're on it, click the image to motion button. On the next page, find the strength slider and adjust it to a value of 6. Now hit generate. Repeat this step for each image you've gathered. I'll skip forward again to when all of them are animated. As you can see, we now have these incredible moving images for our video. They look amazing. Download all of them once you're happy with the results, and then we can move on to the next step. Now that you have all your visuals ready, stay with me as I walk you through how to edit the video and prepare it for upload. Editing is crucial to make your content flow smoothly, so you'll want to follow this part carefully. We're going to use CapCut to assemble everything, so go ahead and open it up. The first step is to import all the visuals you've gathered so far. Next, drag each image onto the timeline. Each image should be 4 seconds long. Continue adding the images until you reach the 1 minute mark. This doesn't take long, as you don't need to edit the duration. Alright, once our images are in place, we'll want to add a transition. In the top left of CapC, go to the Transitions tab. One of the best options for this style is Black Fade, so select it and drag it between your first and second images. Once it's positioned, go to the top right and lower the duration slider to 0.2 seconds. Then, click the Apply to All button to add the transition across all images. Now let's add text to the video. Head to the text section in the top left and add some default text. Once it's in place, the first thing you'll want to type is your at. So I'll just put Wi-Fi Uni. After typing it, scroll down and customize the text by adding color or other effects. Now that we have our watermark added, the next step is to incorporate effects. Head over to the Effects tab in the top left corner and search for Fog or Mist. This effect adds a subtle smoke overlay, perfect for this video's theme. Drag the effect onto the timeline and extend it across the entire video so it applies to each visual. 
You can also try adding effects like Firefly or Gold Stars to give unique vibes to different sections of the video. I'll skip ahead to when these effects are applied. The second to last step in this phase is to adjust the overall color grading. Go to the Adjustment tab in the top right, then click on Custom Adjustment. Just like the filter and effects, drag this adjustment across the entire timeline. To create a vibrant yet polished look, increase saturation to 10 for more vivid colors, and then scroll to the bottom and add a vignette with a value of 25. This will darken the video's corners slightly, adding a cinematic, polished finish. I'll add a set of music to my video. Head to Audio, and you want to search for a funk track. These are super viral, and fits the theme of this video. With that, the video is fully edited, so it's time to export it. Go to the top right and hit the Export button. Let CapCut render the final product, and I'll show you the result when it's ready. But don't leave yet. We're not quite done. Keep watching because up next, I'll cover the most important part of the process. Posting the video and implementing advanced monetization strategies. <laughs> video is finished, it's time to post it on TikTok. Open TikTok and start the posting process. First, choose the same sound as what we used in Cap. Once you've selected a track, reduce its volume right to 1% so our original track still is louder. This way, our video won't get muted by TikTok. Next, go to the caption section. You want to write something that'll make viewers curious like, who will win the battle? Then, add 5 relevant hashtags to help increase your video's visibility. Use hashtags related to the chill cooking niche. These will help categorize your content and boost its discoverability on the platform. If you're looking for more tips on how to optimize your TikTok uploads, be sure to join my school community, where I go in-depth on how to boost your video's reach. Once you've set everything up, go ahead and post the video. But stick around. Now let's talk about monetizing your content. While TikTok's creativity program has strict requirements, there are other ways to earn money before you qualify. One option is to create an ebook using Beacons, which is a platform that lets you sell digital products directly. You can even use ChatGPT to help you write the content and then link it in your TikTok bio. For more advanced monetization tips, make sure to join my school community. There, I share exclusive strategies and give personalized feedback to help you grow and go viral on social media. That wraps it up for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check the description for more resources. See you in the next video.